Randy, we talked about it last night and just the importance of, of winning. And How did you like this W as far as uh, 60 minutes was concerned? Well, I, I think it started off on the right foot. We, we were able to draw a penalty in seven second, second mark, and our power went up, play went out there and scored a big goal for us and got a, things going our way. And uh, We played more of the type of road game that's going to be required, and I think you, know, you have to look at our goalie probably was our best player. You said he looked nervous in the Tuesday game. How do you think he... Well, I don't think he looked nervous at, at all tonight. That, that was part of the reason, you know, you, you, a goalie going in after a long absence has some rust, as any and most players do, and it's, he's very vulnerable to any little mistake that, that is made, and if he makes any, it usually ends in your net. But actually, I thought that the goals that were scored against him in Florida were goals that weren't stoppable. You know, and there were two deflections that, that went in, and then the one was the post and in, so that was the mindset behind it. And re after reviewing it, it felt that he deserved another opportunity. Good segue to a perfect penalty kill here tonight. Four for four and a bounce back game from what you got on Tuesday night. Yeah, special teams are obviously are going to be a major factor, and, and it's the difference in winning and losing hockey games. And we've had a, a penalty kill that we were proud of, and then it came apart at the seams in one game, so... Well, hopefully we're building again for another long run with it. Randy, some people forget sometimes that Jake Gardner's a rookie. He makes mistakes like against Washington, but when you see a goal like that with God-given talent, is that a flash of the potential that he has? Yeah, of course, and, and you know when you see a player of that youth doing those things, that that makes everybody very exciting. That the the skill set and the and the uh, uh, the drive and the ability to skate and and all of those things put together. And when he matures into a, an NHL veteran, and I don't know if that'll be two years, three years, or if it's next year, uh, you know, that, that there's a potential is for something very special. Sort of the, uh, to that, uh, when you look at Reimer, he turns 24 today. This was his second year in the league, maybe the first full season in the league. It, the growing pains, are they to be expected? Well, I think there's been so much finger pointing at goaltending in the situation before I came here. And then when you are new here, you, all you try to do is do an analysis of what they're giving you. And I think that the one thing that we have to do as a coaching staff and as a hockey club is to keep more pucks out of that critical area, that scoring area, keep things to the outside. And that was been our focus. And that's your goaltending is the quality of goaltending is going to get better if you can continue to keep the scoring chances down to a minimum, the mistakes or the giveaways, and the pucks that are directed towards the net are coming from outside angles. Did you get more sustained uh, offensive pressure down there in terms of keeping the pressure on the opposition tonight, do you think? Well, I thought the Steckel line, you know, we used them exclusively to check up against Damcos, and they did a heck of a job. You know, I think, uh, you know, Timmy Conley, probably one of his strongest games for us. David Steckel is always strong in the face-off circle. You know, those are two of the players on that line that, that really did grind. And then Joey Crabb delivers a big goal for us. So anytime you can get that kind of production out of your checking line, you got to feel, feel that, you know, they're, they've made a compliment to your team's success. And, you know, I thought our mindset was much, much better tonight as far as the turnovers. We turned the puck over in the first period far too many times. I think it was seven at the offensive blue line we counted. And they made a conscious effort that that wasn't going to happen in the second. And it made a difference in the hockey game for us. Room's open. All right. Thank you, Coach.